Hey Fairview, thanks again for tuning in to our Thursday devotional going through the Psalms. Today we're in Psalm 28. I encourage you to open the Word of God if you have it near you. Go ahead and pause the video, uh, or while you're doing that, I'm gonna have a word of prayer, uh, and then we'll get right into the Word. Father, once again, I thank you for this opportunity, this privilege to be in your Word. Continue to work in our hearts. I pray that um, as this video goes out, that there would be people who um, maybe have had a time where they're, they're a little bit farther apart, or, or are going through a hard time, but this video would be there for those people who need it. Lord, I trust you that your word will not go out void. In Jesus' name, amen. Like I said, Psalm 28, uh, we'll start in verse one and we'll just read the whole thing. To you, O Lord, I call. My rock, be not deaf to me, lest if you be silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy. When I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary, do not drag me off with the wicked, with the workers of evil who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their hearts. Give to them according to their work and according to the evil of their deeds. Give to them according to the work of their hands. Render to them their due reward because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of his hands. He will tear them down and build them up no more. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my pleas for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. O oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. David continues his pattern of calling out to God for help and trusting that God will be faithful to do what he said he's going to do. This is one of the most amazing things about the psalm. Sometimes it feels a little repetitive, but the fact is, it is truth. And it's a truth that we need to repeat to ourselves daily. We can count on God to come through for us. When life is awful, when we feel overwhelmed, we can cry for mercy and trust that God hears us that he is working for our good, that because of what Jesus has done by adopting us into his family, he will save his people and bless his heritage, that he will be our shepherd and carry us forevermore. When David talks about the wicked who, who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their hearts, the, the hypocrites, he he says, Lord, you know their hearts. Judge them according to that. But he also knows that he has been that person as well. He has done evil as well. Hence the cry for mercy. No matter where you are, what you're doing right now, you can turn to the Lord with humility and cry for mercy and he will hear you because that is in his nature. It is what he said he will do. Those who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved. You can call upon Jesus, and in spite of the sin you're in right now, he will save you, and he won't leave you in it either. Call on him. He is merciful, and he cares for you. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you that even in the Old Testament, hundreds of years before the Messiah came, you were pointing us towards him. Thank you for sending your son. Thank you that he died on the cross for us. I pray that we would submit to him, that we would take him as our Lord and as our Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good Thursday, Fairview.